what is up guys uh welcome back to another video so in today's video we will be installing the xd single mass lightweight flywheel and a stage one clutch new pressure plate um new pilot bushing and new throw bearing and we're gonna use the arp flywheel bolts so this is gonna be a pretty long video but um without further ado let's get into the video all right so here's the transmission and here's your throat bearing or release bearing um so listen to this you can hear it's making noise when it's um spinning which indicates this bearing needs to be replaced so there are two clips behind it and you just want to pop those out all right this is what it looks like so when you replace this you need to press out the bearing out of this um this backing thing and you want to press a new bearing on it now here i have the genuine nissan uh, release bearing so with the throw bearing or release bearing I kind of just want to go with the OEM stuff because really they last the longest so just as a comparison this new bearing you can feel this resistance whereas the old bearing just spins really easy Whereas this one hardly spins. Alright, so I'm installing the new throw, I mean release bearing. Um, the new pilot bearing, pilot bushing, whatever you want to call it. So literally you just put that thing up there and then you just use a mallet and then hammer it in there. All you want to make sure is um, you're not hammering it in a weird direction. And then you can use a socket to go over that and then hammer the socket once it's deep enough so i'm just gonna do that so here as you guys can see once it's like kind of in there kind of level itself out um so what i did is i used a socket 916 so i used um the socket side to go over the bushing and I just hammer the socket and then there will be a ridge inside to stop the bearing once it's fully in there so you just kind of hammer it till it kind of stops and then you know you fully installed it and also if you haven't watched the video on my easy way to take out the um, pilot bushing or pilot bearing go click on the pop out link on the right hand side corner all right so now after the bushing is in there properly i am going to put this flywheel in there so the factory ones are um the true mass flywheel so it's a lot heavier and the engage point is a bit weird so now this is a xd lightweight single mass flywheel it should make the pedal feel a lot better and um so they'll be freeing up some horsepower as well which would be great now when i was taking out my factory flywheel bolts which are these t55 torques while i was taking them out i almost rounded some of it like that one it's not really good um this one it's really bad you can see right there so in theory you should not reuse flywheel bolts anyway and mine is a pretty rounded so i figured i will go with the arp the problem with the arp is the arp don't have a specific um type of bolt that is made for the vq35 engine so what i found on the internet is people are using the um older um, these Ford V8 ones and the um, Nissan SR20 these bolts 
they are just very very slightly longer than the factory one as you guys can see the left hand side is just very very slightly longer and also if you want to use um, the ARP bolts you have to have flat surface right here where the bolts go into that is flat also you'll have to have enough room for the head so you can't use these ARP bolts on the factory flywheel because um, simply the head is too big it just won't fit where that is the factory one's a lot smaller so back to the ARP bolts these bolts are for the Ford V8 but people are using them for the EJ20, um, the SR20 and the VQ35 I think they will work just fine but since the ARP gave the SR20 um, new bolts which specifically designed for the SR20, SR20 engine the SR20 bolts will work for the VQ as well so yeah I think it's a pretty good upgrade over the factory Torx bolt which is really personally I don't really like them that much um, so these bolts you just use a 16 millimeter socket and I don't need to worry about stripping them or something like that which is pretty good so yeah without further ado I will start lining up the flywheel and then putting it on the car alright so you can see I made some marking here so that's for the dope pin. The dope pin is right between these two. So you can see it right here. Right here. This hole in the middle. So the reason I did the marking is when you're installing this because it's quite heavy. This car is kind of hard to line it up. So you at least want to have this marking here. So you know where about kind of you need to try to line it up I'll show you guys under the car so this is what it looks like under the car that little pin it's gonna go into the flywheel so if you don't line it up properly your car won't start you can see I used pin the white paint pin to make a tiny marking so I know roughly where I'm gonna try to line it up so once you line it up you try to put a bolt through so keep the flywheel on there and then you do all your torque torque down and all that kind of stuff all right guys now the flywheel is on there so i only hold it with three nut just don't forget to clean up the surface with some brake cleaner so now i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spray down the transmission as you guys can see there is a whole lot of brake i mean all of the clutch dust and particles and black stuff in there so I might as well take the chance and clean it out Side of the bell housing has been cleaned up, so I'm gonna put the um, throw our bearing and the clutch fork back into um, the pivot, pivot ball. Throw our bearing and the clutch fork is in there. We're just putting the um, the RP loop under the bolt head. 
and then we're gonna thread locker it and we're gonna torque it down to 90 newton meters so i'm gonna hold um the crank bolt from the front so i'll get alan to um torque it down So earlier I had Alan torquing that down and then I was holding the crank bolt so the flywheel won't, won't move. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to degrease the flywheel again as you can see there's quite a bit of particles on it and then I'm going to put the clutch onto the flywheel. And just like that you now have your clutch on there. I'm not sure if you guys can see but on the backing thing you can see there is writing on it and then there is um, the MT side which means it is the transmission side so you just want to make sure it is on the um, transmission side and then you want to install your pressure plate which you want to make sure it's clean as well which is really important all right now the pressure plate is on so all you want to do is you see this pins? There are three of those, right, on each um, side. So you want to line those up, and um, and you want to hand tighten all the bolts, and then you want to tighten all the bolts twice with factory torque spec, because um, on the factory service manual it says you need to tighten it twice. I'll throw the um, tighten sequence because there is a tighten sequence as well. I'll throw that and the torque spec on the screen. And then after that, you can just pull out the clutch alignment tool. Alright, so after you tighten down all the pressure plate bolts in sequence, you can just pull out the um, clutch alignment tool. Like that. You want to lubricate the shaft. That bit for the pilot bearing. And um, the spine. And the shaft that the throttle bearings slide on so you want to lubricate all those places and after that the transmission uh, and the pivot ball behind the clutch fork and then after that the transmission is ready to go back in Alright guys, so I just got the transmission back in the car, so I'm going to chuck all the torque spec of these bolts around the transmission on the um, on the screen. So it's really hard because this transmission is so damn heavy. So I got my, um, my Allen came around and gave me a hand. So I put all the bolts on here so I don't lose track of which bolt goes where because those bolts are all different size um, now there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here which holds the dust boot thing um, so don't forget to take that off and and you can see the two transmission bolt on the top 
and then there's a little breather which goes onto one of the bolt and those two you have to do on the top which is I guess not too hard you just have to take out one of the bracket that is um, in the way which are those two bolts and all of these bolts you can reach from the bottom so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tighten I'm gonna torque down every single bolt so here is the slave cylinder just held on by two 12 millimeter bolts all right after torque down everything including the little dust boot dust shield whatever you want to call it that black cover it's kind of hard to see um make sure you install the crankshaft position sensor which goes right here I just want to push it in like that 10 millimeter bolt And yeah, after that, make sure you put some grease here to eliminate the um, squeaking noise or any other noises coming from the slave cylinder. Alright, now, so I'm just going to put that bracket back to where it was. That's just a 10mm bolt. Alright guys, so now I'm going to plug in these um, wiring harness so you can see two bolts up there for the bracket and um, along here these are the plugs and there's a bracket up there and then this harness will go wrap around the transmission and going back up there it's pretty straightforward all right so this is what pretty much it looks like the stutter plug plug is right there goes into that and then the crank uh, position sensor and then um, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there for that sensor and then you have these two I don't know if they're 14 or something and these two are for the O2 sensor which you have a bracket here goes here and then um, And then the wire goes up, the two bolts right there, and split split off. There's a bracket here, which is another 10 millimeter. And then this sensor goes into that. And um, the back portion, there is another 10 millimeter there, goes around 10 millimeter right here. And then this plug, and this plug will plug into pretty much the top of the transmission so yeah pretty much um, just got to tighten down all the 10 mil and tighten down the um, bracket alright so this is a 14 mil um, auto sensor bracket those two just slides onto the pin and then on um, the plug the clip is right there so what I did is, before I took it off, I marked the blue is for blue, I marked the white one green, so I know which one plugs into which, and um, the wire tucks into that. Actually, I'm actually going to put these uh, shifter in first, um, because otherwise the drive shaft will be in the way to install that. So it's just a 12 millimeter bolt, um, you sit the spring in the bucket, um, you have to push it down while you install it so you want to have the little notch uh, pointing towards the right hand side um, so that can clips into the reverse gear and from the bottom you just want to put more grease put this rubber boot back you can see there's a lip right here so it'll sit around that now you want to put this back on there and um, you can see there's a little arrow so it means it's facing this way and there's a little notch whatever you call it a little bump so that's why that piece have to point to the right hand side and then yeah you want to push it down um, and tighten the bolts which are D3 10 millimeter or something um, so yeah, you don't want to lose them because they are not 
normal looking bolts there's some weird special bolts all right now you test the one two three four five six and then it goes in reverse and doesn't come out because that part is holding that notch in place after that you can fully tighten all three bolts and then you want to shove this boot on there and just like that now you want to put this on there so see this little arrow facing front tightening those with those four bolts and cross pattern just like that and now you want to put this sound deadening stuff back on there and plug in those two plug uh, thread on the shift knob and this panel just held in by clips so you just want to push it down like that and just like that you want to put your shift knob on and the in car is done next thing I'm gonna do is the drive shaft now the drive shaft is in the car it's pretty easy you just poke the uh, shaft whatever you want to call it bits into the back the transmission and before you take it off make sure you mark it um, otherwise when you put it back on the drive shaft could be not in balance and then cause a uh, wobble or um, some other problem which you don't want so you want to mark that um, the nut is facing you and the bolt is going through from the back so you want to tighten those down <laughs> to factory torque spec. I'm gonna chuck the um, torque spec on the screen. And now the drive shaft has been torqued down. So always make sure you torque um, cross pattern. And now I just have to put my exhaust, my white pipe on. And then a couple of, um, a cover right there. And then a bar going across from the cat through the transmission to that other cat. Alright, so the bracket is on, 1, 2, 3, 4 volts, 40mm, um, and now I'm just going to put the um, plastic cover that covers this piece, I think it's 2 clip and a couple of 10 mils. Alright, now this uh, plastic cover is on, so just uh, a couple of bolts here, here, uh, wait that's not a bolt, um, there, two clips one bolt in the middle same over there and here and now I'm just gonna put my white pipe on and um, put oil in the transmission which um, here's a drain plug tighten that and here's a fill plug so I'll put transmission oil in there so I think is three point some liter or something so I'll put the spec and the um, capacity on the screen and after that connect the negative uh, terminal on the battery and yeah pretty much after that the car is ready to start so yeah I'm pretty excited um, hopefully everything is hopefully everything goes all right all right so transmission oil is in this will be the first startup just hope she start up good that's good So 
goes into gear just fine you can see first gear so that's pretty good um, I'm gonna drop it on the ground look at that guys she drives good goes into gear good probably have to adjust the pedal for a look uh, adjust the pedal and believe the slave cylinder but that'll be in the future video um, two skylines I am so happy guys so yeah that'll be it for this video uh, this is a really long video I've been working on this car for probably a couple of weekends um, anyway that'll be it for this video and in the next video I'll be driving this car for 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 a while and break in the clutch and then probably do a review and stuff like that so yeah um, I'll see you guys in the next video and like this video if you found it helpful and plenty of G35 contents on the channel I've actually possibly got one more another car coming but yeah stay tuned for that and um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video